Hey folks, sorry about the weird kind of random video. I realized yesterday that I got a lot of comments on how well the Real Magic SCP holds liquid and at which point it overflows. So just a warning before I show it, of course, I'm about to show a prosthetic penis. If you don't want to see that, I would suggest clicking away. So here it is. I'm running the water. This is probably more water and more force than anyone would urinate all at once, but I've noticed that even at this pressure, as you can see, it's really efficient at draining the liquid. The uncut version makes a pretty decent stream in my opinion. It's a bit thick for a urine stream, not that I spend a lot of time observing urine streams, but I still think it's quite believable. As you can see, the opening inside is quite big, so it doesn't really overflow. It still drains faster than it fills up, which I think is great. If you lean it back, then the water will be filling up the bottom part here inside before it reaches the shaft where it drains. That's where you might have some issues. There is a little lip, so as you can see, it's beating at the top there, but it's not spilling out. But if you press it up against your body, you shouldn't really have to worry about that. If you lean it too far back and you don't push it up against your body, that's when you see where the leak would happen. But if this part here were pressed up against your body, it would create a seal nonetheless. And then once the water flow stops, let's say if we lean it back, if someone is, let's say, using it in a way where it risks leaking, but they have that seal against their body. Once the flow stops, the water still does drain out, and that's the little extra that I'm talking about. If you're holding the SCP in a back leaning position, sometimes there could be a little bit of urine left that you didn't notice, but if you just lean that front, as you can see, the liquid beads on the prosthetic, and it comes right out. I don't know if it has some sort of hydrophobic coating on it, but you can see on the inside, it really is quite dry. Usually there wouldn't be liquid on the outside because you wouldn't be running it under a faucet, but sometimes, let's say, like there's a bit of liquid left inside there. Even if you shake it, it kind of stays stuck. And that's why I prefer to dry mine off with a little bit of toilet paper once I'm done, just because I don't like having any moisture left over. But yeah, that's how the prosthetic fills and drains. That's it. Hopefully uh, that little demonstration was helpful for seeing how the prosthetic actually handles liquid. Shake it off a bit at the end. There you go. Cool. Take care.